This is the starting grid for the first ever Formula E race here in Moscow. Dario Franchitti has joined me for a little wander around the track and a chance to explore the characteristics of this Moscow circuit. And one of the characteristics, Dario, is this behind us. Stunning, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen a location like this for a racetrack. Absolutely just takes your breath away. Yeah, It's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? So uh, hopefully we're going to have some great racing here. As I say, this is the start finish straight alongside the uh, Moskova River embankment. This is stretch is called and then they head down to the next set of traffic lights and turn left and head out into the city a little bit more. So after the first corner on the circuit, they'd come up here to Storia Square, which... Turn two to you and I. Okay, <laughs> turn two, which then uh, loops around the grandstand in the middle of the square. And uh, they then come up here, turn left, which is three, and then four, and then five, and then back on ourselves and shooting out that way, which we'll, we'll head down in a moment. But it's a, it's a cool little part of the city and the track, this. It is. It's really, these three corners are one long corner. And if you make a mistake in any part of it, this whole section is junk, so key to get this bit right. And as you say, then heading back up the hill, quite a lot of elevation here, which really surprised me. So this is turn three, also known as the Church of Michelin, as uh, they'll come through the first left-hander here. And this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. It looks at first sight to be just a normal 90 degree left-hand corner. When you get to about here though, the car's going to understeer off this point as it drops down the hill. It's the first apex of this three apex corner we talked about. Very, very tricky part of the track and I expect this will be uh, one of the bits to really struggle with tomorrow. Now we're up at the Gostiny Dvor chicane, which is looking like one being one of the trickiest and certainly narrowest parts of the circuit. This is the old market that is now an exhibition centre, that is the Gostiny Dvor. But the chicane, Dario, is uh, interesting. It narrows up in a hurry, doesn't it, on entry there. But quite a, a quick entry, braking for this left-hand part of the, of the chicane. You're going to be balancing your entry and your exit speed, but you've got to get a good exit, obviously. But that entry is wide open. It's going to try, challenge you to run, run speed in before this tight, tight part of the, uh, of the chicane. I see a few mistakes here tomorrow. It just looks, it's got that feeling about it, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So that's the way in. And then we head down here towards uh, the Kremlin and St. Basil's Cathedral, as you do. After the chicane, there's a flat out left kink, which then brings us down here to a, a reasonably tricky looking corner because you're coming through the left and then getting into the braking for the hairpin. Yeah, normally you'd think, yeah, pretty simple, flat out left hand kink, but then you look at the, the angle of the road here, you get slightly off line, it's going to be interesting. Then we get into the tight end of the track, braking, hairpin left, very, very tight, hairpin right, down the hill, and we're back where we started. Yeah, absolutely, jobs are good, and then they head back out onto the embankment to start another lap. So that's a little look around the Moscow E-Prix circuit, ninth round of the FIA Formula E Championship, coming to you this weekend from Russia.